This video is going to explore the topic of nets of 3D shapes. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question is simply, what is a net of a 3D shape? A net is a two-dimensional model that can be folded into a 3D shape. We use nets to show how we can build three-dimensional shapes such as prisms. You may be wondering what a prism is, so let me just take a moment to explain that. A prism is a type of 3D shape. It has two opposite, congruent, and parallel faces. We'll be exploring types of prisms in class together. Now thinking about nets can require a lot of visualization, and it's a little tricky to show it in a video like this, but I'm going to try my best to show you some examples of this. We're going to start with a cube, which is one type of prism. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my cube. Some of you might have different strategies for how you draw a cube. A cube is a type of prism where all of the faces, all of the flat spaces around the shape are equal squares. So I'm actually just going to draw this up like this as a representation of a cube. And I would know that all of these faces, all of these squares are congruent here. And to show a little depth, I'm going to make my lines like so. So this is my representation of a cube. Now that I have a cube, when we're thinking about nets, what we're thinking about is taking scissors and cutting it open. So in an effort to best show this, I'm going to use different colors. So here I have the bottom of my cube. It would be a square that would look like this. If I'm going to cut my shape open on whatever side I decide to start with, when it folds, unfolds and lays flat, there's going to be that square right here laying flat on the ground. When it's cut open, this face in the back, this square, might fall to the back, right? So it's attached here, but it would fall back to lay flat like so. The face, I'm going to outline this one in purple here, the face on the left hand side would fall over to the side. My face here on the left, excuse me, on the right hand side would also fall over, but this time to the right side. And I need a little bit more color here. Let's go with orange. This face in the front would flap over in front. And actually, it might take with it the top. So we can see there's a top up here that would still be attached on this, this line here. So it might flop over this way. So what I've done is taken the net, cut it open, and laid it flat. And I can see because it's a cube, and cubes are made of square faces, I have one, two, three, four, five, six squares that would be able to be folded back up to make a cube. Now there are lots of ways I could have cut this open. When we explore this more, we'll see different ways that I could have unfolded this to make the cube. But this is a net that represents a cube, right? It's, so it's a net of a cube. We could build the cube back up by folding this up together. Another type of net we might be able to build is for a triangular prism. So let's see if we can build first a triangular prism. I'm going to start with a triangle that's going to be the front face of my shape. And I'm going to actually build it back a little bit here and make a matching and parallel and congruent triangle. And then I'm going to just sort of show how that would connect there so that you can see that it's sitting on a rectangle. So just like prisms need, it has two triangles. Here's one and here's the other. Those two are congruent, equal, right, triangles that are also parallel, which is what makes it a prism. So again, let's see if we can figure out how we could cut this open and turn it into a net. I'm going to start here, this time with this rectangle that it's sitting on. So I'm going to draw my rectangle right here. And if I cut this open, 
I can see that there's a triangle in the front that maybe would flop down right around here. There's also a second congruent triangle here in the back that would lay flat behind my rectangle. It looks like there are two more faces that would need to lay flat. There's a rectangle here on the right hand side that would come over to the right. And then there's one more, let's see what color I'll make that, let's make that orange here. There's one more rectangle here on the left hand side, do you guys see that? That would flop over to the left. So this would represent the net of my triangular prism. The number of 3D shapes that we could practice this with is really large, right? So we're not going to cover all of these. We're just sort of talking about what this could look like and how nets are formed. Nets can also work for things that are things other than prisms. So for example, a square pyramid. Now this is not a prism, but it's a different type of 3D shape. And as with all the other 3D shapes, we can make a net out of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll start thinking about what this looks like, and you might want to start visualizing how you'll set this up as well. I see that its base, what it's sitting on, is this rectangle here. Maybe it's, actually, I think it's a square. It must be a square since it's a square pyramid. So I'll start by making my square in my net. And from my square, I can see that if I folded everything flat, I would have a triangle coming off to the left, a second triangle in the back, a third triangle coming off to the right, and a fourth triangle that would come out in front. So that would be a quick sketch of a net of my square pyramid. So remember that the essential question of this video was what is a net? So we've seen a couple examples of nets. Nets are quite simply, right, the two-dimensional representation of a 3D shape. We will be working with a lot of prisms, but as we can see with our final example, sometimes we'll have other 3D shapes as well.